Hi, my name's Cathy Miller, and this week we're looking at how to paint realistic concrete. So looking at concrete out in the real world, and we can see that it's sometimes lovely and warm, a very yellowy colour, um, depends on the light falling on it as well, but sometimes it's quite a pale, quite a grey colour, and that makes it quite hard to model because everyone has their view on what it should look like. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be using this just very simple plastic model. It's a Walther's Scale House. It's going to be on a concrete base. This, this bit here should actually be concrete. So we're just going to paint it up to make it look like realistic concrete. So what do you start with? Well, you need to start with a paint. And this is Tamiya XF55 Deck Tan. It's my favourite colour for concrete. It's not too grey and it's not too yellow. And the trick with concrete is getting it somewhere in the middle. So I'm just going to um, mask this off and then go and paint it on my airbrush. You can do it with a, um, a brush paint, which is what I've done here, but you get a little bit of a splodgy colour. So let's just look at how you mask it. It's very simple. So I've got frog tape. Any, I mean, I like the blue masking tapes. Any masking tape will do. And this is quite big for scale models, but this is quite a big section to cover. So what I'm going to do is just cut it up and put it round my scale house. Make sure that you push your um, masking tape down well, especially on the edges, use your nail to just really firm it up. Otherwise the paint will bleed underneath, which isn't ideal. It can be rectified, especially if it's a bit damp with a cotton bud, if it does that, but sometimes it's enough to ruin your paint job and you need to start again. Also make sure that you cover the top of the um, shed in this instance, because we don't actually want the interior here painted concrete coloured either, though we probably will come back and paint the floor concrete eventually. Okay, so the next stage is to take off my masking tape and I take it off before the paint's 100% set so that it doesn't sort of pull it um, when it's later now. I have hair dried these a little. Be very careful with the hair drying. I did once warp an entire window set, which was embarrassing. So what do we do now? Well, the next layer is a wash. I like my washes to be in a different medium to the original paint so they don't lift it up. I find sometimes you can lift the paint off if you're not careful. Not so much with acrylic perhaps which set solid, but with some of the enamels you can lift them off if you use another enamel on top. So I'm going to use this MIG neutral wash and I'm just going to put this all over, um, round, letting it run into the thing, the edges, but just to give it a slight, almost like a filter wash just to bring it down in tone. Now when this wash goes on, be careful not to put any brush marks into it. It will soak in a little bit into this paint if you're not careful. And I've not actually shaken it so that it's fully um, as strong as it could be because I want it to be a little bit more dilute. So if it's getting a little bit streaky, you just put it on with a slightly different dabbing technique or something. But in the meanwhile, what you want it to do is to just accumulate around some of these. So make sure that they've got plenty of the wash around them because they're the bits that will be darker in real life where the dirt will have accumulated. I'm just going to make sure there's no bubbles. I'm just going to let this dry now. If there's any tide marks or it dries funnily or you get lines, because this is an enamel wash, and this is one of the reasons I like using an enamel wash, is you can go back and just use a bit more wash and, and clean it up a bit because um, the wash, the enamels are never fixed totally. Their solvent, in this case the enamel wash solvent, will just get them back off again and make them liquid. So if it doesn't look quite good, like there's a bit of a line coming, you can just go in and, and redo it. And it might be when you've done this, you look at it and go, actually, I'd like a little bit more um, puddling around some of these edges and you could go and add that in and a bit more um, 
sort of thickness to, to come around the edges. Okay, so everything's dried up overnight. The next thing to do is just put a few pigments on. Now, at this point, I think it's looking just a little bit brown for me. I'd prefer it to be just a bit grayer. So I want a really gray pigment and I always use MIG pigments, but they don't have a very gray one. Well, at least I haven't bought a very gray one. So this is just a custom mix of the white and the black till I get this very gray. And I want it to be quite light. I don't want to, to put too much on, but I'm just gonna put on a little bit of a adjusting, just so that there's a little bit of powder in here too. Um, thinking about the um, texture of this, I haven't really worried too much about the texture being um, sort of not having a concrete texture. And that's because this is a HO model. If you were modeling in um, a larger scale, then you would probably want to think more about the texture. But in HO scale, I mean, if you're looking at this from a distance whenever you're looking at it, Realistically, you wouldn't see um, much of a concrete texture. So here we go. Just a little final layer, just to add a bit more depth. So here's the final result on the concrete. You can see next week we look at how to do rusty concrete, but for now, this is where we are on our normal, just standard concrete. In this week's Adventures of the Mini Cathy's, Millscale Cathy makes a new friend. Well, that was rude. Was it something I said? I don't smell, do it? Well, the first meeting of the scale Cathy's and an alien obviously didn't go as well as hoped. Well, I hope you enjoyed it this week. Do tune in next week to see how we add the rust effects and if you're enjoying it then subscribe to me on youtube alternatively like me on facebook or visit me on my website kathymillett.co.uk see you next week <laughs>